Cool. Hi everyone, uh, my name's Mike, uh, I'm M Dash Anderson on GitHub, uh, I've been doing a bunch of stuff at Gatsby over the last few months, um, and I'm going to talk about uh, writing the source code in Gatsby today. Um, Kyle, where's there is, Kyle gave a talk uh, last week, I think, uh, about Gatsby, where he described it as kind of being a presentation layer for your uh, CMS, your data, whether that's Content for a bunch of markdown files or WordPress or whatever other sources uh, that you might have for your site. And then so Gatsby has a bunch of kind of extension points that allows you to write plugins to pull the data into Gatsby and then kind of unify that and push that out as a site. Uh, and those extension points let you write plugins. Uh, and there's different types of plugins. Transformers and source plugins and kind of all sorts of other ones. But today I'm going to focus on source plugins, uh, just pulling data into Gatsby from any other, any source. Uh, and Gatsby has a lot of source plugins already. Um, but if you need to take data from somewhere that doesn't have a source plugin already, then you need to write your own one. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to run through a short tutorial on creating a source plugin. Um, I've got a basic default starter site here, um, and I'm going to create a plugin for Pixabay, which is a kind of a free image site, and I'm basically going to be running through this tutorial. So I'm going to start with I'll close that and. This is kind of a standard, uh, maybe that must be a little bit bigger. This is a kind of standard directory structure for a Gatsby site. And if you want to create a plugin, um, you create a plugins directory, and then, uh, oh. Uh, create a folder for your plugins in it that lives in the plugins directory. Um, and it just needs a package JSON. And we're going to use a couple of MPN dependencies for this plugin. And then the way that plugins work is you can uh, create, there's a few different file types that you can create, which Gatsby will then kind of pick up any exports in there that export Gatsby APIs, and then, then they get picked up when your site's built. Uh, so we're going to make a Gatsby node file. And Just going to copy and paste this in, but I'll talk through what it's doing. Um, so, this is the kind of source node, which is a, it's a Gatsby API, and it gets provided with kind of a couple of helpers from Gatsby, as they kind of found action creators, uh, a utility for creating node IDs, and then the config options that will come from uh, your Gatsby config file. Um, so I'm just going to, this isn't really doing anything at the moment, it's just importing variables and then it's going to log out just a test to uh, show that, that your test is working. Um, so once that's done, you can add the site, add the plugin to your site. Save those changes. Uh, and you do that by adding it into your Gatsby config. Uh, where have I gone? We'll add something in like this as a config. Uh, let's just add that whole. Plugins, plug, and yeah, do 
bicycles or the bikes in Berlin. Um, we need an API key which I have handily created already. Uh, and now if I start the develop mode on that site again, To the plugin so you can see what's going on in there. Um, and I'll just talk through these. Uh, I've got a I've got API URL. I'm literally just fetching the API URL, turning that response, uh, uh, taking the response JSON, and then for each item in uh, each piece of data in that response, which looks uh, a little bit like so that's what an API response looks like. You get the kind of the large image URL. Uh, and a few other bits of metadata. And I'm taking each piece of data, I'm running it through a little helper that will create uh, a node for Gatsby. Um, and the helper kind of creates a node ID, it sets the content of the node, and it creates a, a content digest. So if the content changes in Gatsby nodes to validate that node and re uh, rebuild it next time the site's created. Um, and then it's got a parent and children who are linking nodes to each other. And that's basically it. That's kind of the, the structure of a, of a node in Gatsby. And so once that's created, you run the create node function that passes into Gatsby, which then uh, allows that to be queried uh, inside Gatsby, which is so where these images come in from. Either. This is just uh, from my config. I've got my API key. I've got my query yellow powers. And then in the site, my uh, my index page, I'm querying, I'm creating a photo, uh, photo query which is looking for all my Pixabay photos, limiting it to ten, um, and then outputting the large image URL, page URL, the tags and user, and actually that gets passed in to my page as a data object. And I grab each of the photos from that, and I'm actually only using the large image URL, but I can loop through those in my uh, React component and just put them out to the page. Um, and that's it. That's the, kind of, that's the general process for creating a query and uh, for creating a plugin. Uh, there is a page on the docs that we recently added, which actually runs through this all step by step. Uh, so if you're interested, that's the, that's the URL. And that's it. Thank you.